question 13. Write these numbers in the correct places on the diagram. 5, 6, 7, 8. Now this type of diagram is called a Venn diagram. You don't need to worry too much about the name of it. It was simply named after a man called John Venn who invented this sort of diagram for sorting numbers and for sorting various objects. Now the question is, how do we use this diagram? Well, on the left we've got a circle for factors of 30. So any numbers which are factors of 30 have to go in this circle. On the right we've got a circle for factors of 40. Any numbers which are factors of 40 have to go on the right. The crucial bit is the bit in the middle, where the two circles overlap. So any numbers which are, are factors of 30 and at the same time also factors of 40 have to go in the overlapping bit. A lot of people often forget about the rectangle on the outside of the Venn diagram, which I'm currently shading in blue. Any numbers which don't fit into either circle, so which aren't factors of 30 and aren't factors of 40 either, will go in the rectangle on the outside. So that's important to remember. So now let's think about factors. Well, factors of 30, you could have 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, and 5 times 6. Factors of 40, you could have 1 times 40, 2 times 20, 3 won't go into 40, but you could have 4 times 10, and 5 will also work, you could have 5 times 8. So now we've listed the factors of 30 and 40, this should make it nice and simple. So let's check each number in turn. Well, let's start with the number 5. Well, 5 is a factor of 30, but it is also a factor of 40, so it's in both lists of factors. So 5 needs to go in the overlapping bit. So that's 5 done. Now let's try 6. The number 6 is a factor of 30, but as you can see, it is not in the list of factors of 40. So number 6 is only a factor of 30, so number 6 needs to go in this circle. Number 7, I can't see 7 in the list of factors for 30 or in the list of factors for 40, so number 7 can't go in either circle. If it can't go in either circle, we've still got to put it somewhere on the diagram. We've got to put it outside the two circles, somewhere in this rectangle outside the two circles. So I'm just going to pop it down there. Very important that you do put it somewhere on the diagram, just not inside the circles. So that's 7 sorted. The number 8 is not in the factors of 30, but it is in the factors of 40 there. So number 8 needs to go only in the factors of 40. And that's the number 8 sorted. And there you have it. Question number 13 is done.